Hello, it's Joanna Sixtinia, and today I bring you some exciting news. So, uh, I posted a video the other day, well yesterday I think it was actually. Um, I've been on YouTube for 10 years, and I was going back through my old videos and everything, and I started with Hampton Colliery, that was my first railway. And looking at it, I mean I was... That was pretty much the first layout I had actually started doing it by myself, uh, scenery wise and everything. And 10 years is a lot of time to learn new things. And I've learned a lot of things actually. And that is why, as of from today, I'm going to be building a new Hampton Colliery, a new and improved. Um, I've kind of put hold on the American Railroad at the moment. Um, I'm still buying the stuff for it and everything. But I've decided that I'm going to use that space I have for the American Railway that I've made, the new board and everything. I'm going to use that space to make a nice, dirty, co-war colliery. And... I've always preferred the industrial side of things to railways, more so than passenger and stuff like that. And I love my coal trains. So yeah, what I'm going to do is build another colliery layout. It's been 10 years since I built one. Um, before I started the Millbow Railway, the Now Gauge Railway, that space was going to possibly be used for a colliery because the packet from Hatton's was not far away and sorry not packet Barclay Barclay um, I'm sure I got that right it was the train was not far away this local was only like a couple of weeks away and I looked at the space I had and I wanted to do something with a narrow gauge stuff in my room because the exhibition layout was it wasn't really coming together how I wanted it to. So, I was going to use that space for a colliery. Then I eventually changed my mind and used it for a narrow gauge railway. So, I've wanted to do it for a long time. I say that with all my projects, but it's true. It's stuff that I've wanted to do for years and just never found the time to do it. So, all the trains you see in front of you will feature on a new model railway by me. A National Coal Board colliery set in 60s and 70s, just off the top of my head. Um, and will feature all the locos you see here. I'm not going to be too fast what I run on it, as long as they're industrial locos like this. Um, so, looking at the locos we have here. We start from the left with J94 Wimbury. This is a loco I had 10 years ago. Probably more than 10 years. I think it's about 10 years ago. Might be a bit longer than that. Might be about 11 years. But this is really the engine that started me on um, National Coal Board stuff. And since then, I've got J94 Norman at the back here, which is one of my all time favourite steam locomotives. Uh, we got this one, which is a newer Hornby one. This one came out about two years ago. We have the exclusive Model Rail Magazine Steam Sentinel, which I've also got an O gauge one of this on order, so that should be pretty nice. We have the limited edition Pepper from Backman's Collectors Club. I had two of these up until late, and I've just sold the second one, actually. But I'm not selling this one. This was a present off my family when I wasn't very well in hospital a few years ago. Roughly about 2000 and... Might have been 2011 when I had this one. And then, of course, we have the Barclay, which Hattons do exclusively. Really lovely loco. And then at the back here, we have the newly toured... Hornby Sentinel, which is a very nice model. Uh, again, National Coal Board. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, I don't have no idea of track plan yet. It's very early days. 
Um, I've been working in the room, just looking at what I could do. But I'm looking at having some kind of coal yard where all the coal was filled in the trucks and everything. In the wagons, in the coal wagons. Um, have some kind of engine area where they store the engines overnight. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, I'm not going DCC. It's going to be a DC analog layout. There's no point. It's not going to be too complicated with wiring and track work, I don't think. It's got to be a typical colliery line um, and I want a nice line that goes up you know into the wilderness that will eventually go to the fiddle yard but anyway that's it from me I hope you enjoy this idea I will get new videos out for this as soon as I get some work done but let me know what you think I think it's a good way to celebrate 10 years of YouTube and yeah thank you for watching if you do remember the original Hampton colliery Please uh, let me know and hopefully I'll try and get some of the old videos back up on YouTube. They, they're still on there but you know just put a new, um, put them on now and they'll be seen more uh, by people who joined later on and that. But yeah thanks for watching and I shall see you all soon. Bye for now.